Question 8, 2.5 and 0 0.05. Well, the first thing to notice is that this number's got one digit after the point, and this one's got two digits after the point. So if we're doing a column method, we need to make sure we're lining the decimal points up. So I'm actually going to put the decimal points in first, and that will help me line those numbers up. And I'm just going to make a note at the bottom, because that's actually a really important point that will help you a lot. So put decimal points in first. Okay. So now we can stick our numbers in. So 2.5 is going to be the either side of the point is the 2 and the 5. So 2.5. Either side of the point on this point is the 2 zero. So we need a 0 either side of the point, and then the 5 obviously is going to come after this 0. So it's going to be 0.05. Now I've got them lined up, it should be nice and easy. So I can start adding. Okay, so I've got but hang on, there's a blank space in here. And if there's a blank space, you can fill any blank space in a calculation like this with zeros. And now you can do it. So 0 plus 5 is 5. 5 plus 0 is 5 again. And 2 plus 0 is 2. Don't forget your decimal point. That's going to be going there because your decimal points need to be lined up. So your final answer is 2.55. A word of warning. What some people will do is that they will totally ignore this zero here and they'll think they'll see a five there and a five there and they'll say five and five and ten and they'll call it 2.10 and they'll try and think it's 2.10 but that is total nonsense it doesn't work okay so you've got to line your decimal points up put the digits in and then replace this with a zero because 2.5 is the same as 2.50 and then you are guaranteed of getting the right answer. Final answer, 2.55.